Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be adding a particularly legendary devil fruit into this here encyclopedia by the name of the Ito Ito no Mi. The Ito Ito no Mi is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to generate and manipulate strings. And if you're not that familiar with One Piece, you're probably going to find that initial explanation quite underwhelming. But keep watching because this fruit has absurd amounts of potential, much of which is thanks to its wielder, Don Quixote do Flamingo, who first debuted its abilities during the Jaya arc. However, the name and true abilities of the fruit would not become apparent until a whopping 490 chapters later, meaning that this devil fruit is the undisputed record holder of longest gap between its introduction and naming. Speaking of naming, this fruit rather simply takes its name directly from the Japanese word for string or thread, which has resulted in both Viz and Funimation deciding to label it as the string string fruit in English. All right, now let's get down to business because we have a fair bit to cover here. Firstly, I think it's very important to note that the string conjured by the Ito Ito no Mi is not your typical thread, but is in fact a wafer thin and razor sharp substance with a tensile strength capable of cutting seemingly, well, anything. Anything that's not sea stone or haki imbued anyway. So we're already looking at some pretty devastating power. I mean, if this was the full extent of the Ito Ito no Mi's abilities, then this fruit is already top notch because it essentially allows you to wield an entire arsenal of deadly blades with maximum maneuverability and versatility. Oh, and I should probably mention that even if they come across a substance they can't cut, they are, for all intents and purposes, indestructible. I mean, yes, they can be broken, but it did take a King Kong punch from Luffy in Gear 4 form to achieve that. And that is a pretty high standard of destructive power, and we would not expect most individuals to have access to it. As such, the user of the Ito Ito no Mi is not simply restricted to offensive action, but they can also conjure their string abilities into a shield of sorts, which is shown in the series through the spider's web technique. And this is probably one of the easiest and best defenses that the world of Devil Fruit has to offer, simply due to the core substance of the strings themselves. But they are not that simple because the strings can seemingly be attached to any surface, which allows the user of the Ito Ito no Mi to maneuver themselves in a very Spider-Man-esque type manner, except significantly better because these strings can even be attached to clouds, allowing the user to travel the infinite ocean of the One Piece world, so long as there's a bit of overcast to work with, which is insanely powerful because it also displays that the user is capable of conjuring strings long enough to actually reach clouds from sea level. But this concept of attachment is very important because it it gives rise to probably the most commonly seen ability that this fruit has to offer, which is a technique known as Parasite. Through the user attaching a string to a target's spine, right around the base of the neck, the user is able to manipulate their target like a marionette. They can control any portion of their target with the sole exception of the head, control over which is the only agency left to the target. This control appears to be powerful enough to ensnare exceptionally strong combatants, such as Jozu, a commander of the Whitebeard Pirates, although it is unknown if the level of control has a direct correlation to the strength of the user of the Ito Ito no Mi. In any case, the user is also capable of controlling multiple targets at once, with what appears to be minimal effort. Interestingly enough though, the user of the Ito Ito no Mi does not necessarily need the body of another person to create a puppet, as the user can also form a complete clone of themselves, out of compressed strings that even go so far as to replicate the detailed colorings of the user, rather than remain the standard white that the strings are usually portrayed as. Furthermore, as opposed to other fruits with a cloning ability, such as the Hana Hana no Mi, this clone does not feel pain or transfer any pain back to the user themselves, making it quite an appealing ability. Currently, it is assumed that the user is only capable of replicating their own body, but at the same time, I don't see why they couldn't also potentially be proficient enough to make clones of other people. Unless, of course, it's a direct restriction of the fruit itself. But let's now take some time to examine exactly how the heavenly demon himself, Doflamingo, used the powers of the Ito Ito no Mi. As alluded to before, he is a heavy user of the parasite technique, and most notably was able to apply this to commandeer the entire kingdom of Dressrosa by forcing King Riku to slaughter his own subjects and manipulate public opinion to the point where he was just accepted as their new ruler. And Doflamingo's other signature use of the fruit is undoubtedly in the birdcage technique, whereby he creates an immense amount of strings and fashions them into a dome-like structure around a certain area, trapping everything unfortunate enough to be caught within it. It is unknown what the maximum radius of this birdcage can be, but it was shown to be at least capable of surrounding the entire nation of Dressrosa. From here, Doflamingo can also manipulate the birdcage to slowly close in towards the center, slicing up the poor souls of anyone or anything to be caught in its path. But we don't even stop there because I am proud to declare that this is the very first devil fruit we have examined in the encyclopedia that has a confirmed awakening. And the awakening of the Ito Ito no Mi, as well as the Mochi Mochi no Mi, I guess, at the time of this recording, really do serve as the basis for almost all awakening theories to do with Paramecia fruits. And that's because the Ito Ito no Mi was the first to show us that it could transform the environment. And in this case, Dolphamingo demonstrated an absurd ability to turn the surface beneath him and even entire buildings into strings. And the immediate benefit of this is that it significantly increases the quantity of strings able to be generated by the user, enough to morph them into gigantic shapes and result 
result in devastatingly increased attack power and versatility. Also quite notably, all of the awakened techniques used by Doflamingo have a pink and or purple aura around them. Exactly what that denotes is unknown, but it's a nice easy way to distinguish the usage of awakened abilities from base powers. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a string human. It's important to point out that strings do not need to be generated externally, and they can in fact be crafted and manipulated within the body of the user, which was shown when Doflamingo was able to stitch together his internal organs after suffering Trafalgar Law's Gamma Knife. It's also come to my attention that in this late stage of the video, I haven't focused nearly enough on the day-to-day -day utility of the fruit. So let's go over a few of the potential benefits to the everyday human. The obvious benefit of string manipulation is sewing, but that's a bit boring, really. So we'll take that to the next level and say that the user of the Ito Ito no Mi is entirely capable of crafting their own clothing en masse, possibly even enough to start their own business if they're an awakened user. Although I'm not sure how big the market for razor sharp underwear is, but hey, you, you never know. Another handy benefit of the Ito Ito no Mi would be unlimited floss. Although be sure to coat your teeth and gums in armamentaki before attempting to use it. And finally, in a less technically developed world, the user of this fruit could create their own communications network by doing the old string attached to two cans trick and using the string to carry vibrations from one can to the other. Not so great in the real world, or even the One Piece world, thanks to Den and Mushies, but hey, it's, it's another idea. To conclude, what we have here is nothing less than an absolutely incredible devil fruit. The string it generates is incredible on its own before you even put it to more creative use. But the fact that you can use it to control other people's bodies, create clones of your own body, and trap people in a near indestructible cage of doom with seemingly minimal effort is just amazing. Without a doubt, a top tier fruit that you would be foolish not to consume. And with that, we are going to commit the Ito Ito no Mi to the devil fruit encyclopedia. Next week, we're launching into a brief investigation into the realm of Skypea to examine the first of two devil fruits found all the way up there. And no, it's not the one you're thinking of. It is in fact the horsey goodness of the Uma Uma no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Ito Ito no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review and I'll see you next time.